Hello there. We must have the EU rattled because they're now telling us the Elgin marbles belong to Greece. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content so please do check back every day and a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. While the UK was a massive fee-paying member of the EU, Brussels kept stum about the ownership of the Elgin marbles. But now we've left their clutches, Brussels is intent on damaging the UK in any way it can, so the Eurocrats have decided to get involved in the archaeological spat and have, of course, come down on the side of Greece. Reuters reported on Friday that Britain is the legitimate owner of the Parthenon marbles, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson told a Greek newspaper, rebuffing Greece's permanent request for the return of the 2,500-year-old sculptures. And in response, the Greek EU Vice President for the European Way of Life, Margaritis Sheenus, tweeted, The marbles belong in the Parthenon. In these difficult times, Universal cultural heritage should uplift humanity, not divide it. Hashtag Parthenon Marbles. Why does the EU always try and hijack the words Europe and European? Anyway, the Europe editor of The Telegraph, James Crisp, retorted by tweeting back that the EU commissioner for promoting the European way of life has lost his marbles. But of course there will always be pro-EU types backing the EU and Greece on this one. Anything to try and have a go at Brexit UK. But the Elgin Marbles dispute predates the EU, EEC and Common Market, so Brussels should keep its piggy little snout out of it. After all, the EU's only a trading organisation, isn't it? And the British Museum, where the marbles are now housed, says that they were legally purchased between 1801 and 1812 by Lord Elgin, bought not from the Greeks, but from the Ottoman Empire that was ruling Athens at the time. But as they say, possession is nine-tenths of the law, especially after a couple of hundred years. Now, one former Labour Party minister for Europe, Dennis McShane, got into the Twitter feed and said of the Greek EU vice president, he's Greek, like asking a Brit official if Falklands belong to Argentina. Now I'm not sure what his angle is here, but the Falkland Islands never belonged to Argentina. The UK laid claim to them in 1764 and Argentina was not formed as an independent country until 1816. And although the UK did leave for a while, when it needed to concentrate elsewhere in the world, it came back and reasserted its rule in 1833. And as you can imagine, back then international law on territorial possession and conquest were far different than today. The only time that Argentina had any control over the islands was for 74 days of adverse possession in 1982 and the UK took them back in a very decisive manner. And a referendum with a 92% turnout on the islands in 2013 showed 99.9% .9 wanted to continue under UK rule. The Falkland Islands also lie over 300 miles away from the Argentine coast and are therefore outside of the Argentine exclusive economic zone. Argentina therefore has no historical, geographical, legal or moral right to claim those islands. So the Falkland Islands are UK through and through, until the Falkland Islanders themselves say otherwise. So what do you think of this Elgin Marbles issue? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.